that? Before we talk to the cast of The Walking Dead and Gail, who's producing The Walking Dead, we have The Walking Dead, our outside Walking Dead. And I don't mean the fans, because our fans are awesome. There's actual people dressed as zombies. And I think there was uh, recently, a couple weeks ago, there was the New Jersey Zombie Walk. Did you guys hear about this? No. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. SNL, SNL made a big joke about it, saying, so walk up to someone in New Jersey who looks crazy with dead eyes and ask him where the zombie walk is. <laughs> Yay, Seth Meyers show. All right, let's talk about, shut up, Jesse. It's that kind of show, people. Um, let's talk about uh, Walking Dead specifically, because that's why you're here. But see, season three, it starts off, you're doing, well, fans love the prison, right? So fans, were, there's a lot of expectation. Is that daunting? for doing the show, to do such a storyline that fans are so in touch with. It's inspiring okay. and daunting at the same time. Yeah. But, uh, you know, we, we never want to over-promise and under-deliver, mm -hmm. so we go balls out. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, Gail. Yeah. We're in. Back that. me up, guys. Yeah, you're yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, I remember the first time we came to Comic-Con, San Diego Comic-Con. Yeah. Am I allowed to talk about it? New York Comic-Con? Oh, yeah, yeah. it's all awesome. yeah. And We and, were there. And we, uh, and we showed the first trailer. And I remember because, you know, we wouldn't be here if it weren't for the comic book. And obviously, mm -hmm. we want to honor that. Yeah. And we want to, you know, honor the tone of the comic book. We want to throw in some surprises along the way. And I remember watching, what, hearing the audience reaction the first time we showed the teaser. And, you know, it was an amazing sort of moment of, oh, thank God, we, we, we seem to be telling it the way that the fans want us to tell it. Yeah, it, it's really scary when you take something that's, you know, I mean, I'm sure um, Peter Jackson had to deal with this so far. And, you know, look at Steven Spielberg with Jaws. You know, Peter eventually was a beloved book to take that and translate it. This thing, Walking Dead, I heard about peripherally. Like, I heard people who were into the comic book, and there were people that I trust. You know, like right. comic book fans like myself. So I'm like, oh, oh, you like it? Okay, well, maybe I'll check it out. Mm -hmm. Then you check it out, then you find out it's going to be a TV series, and to be on AMC is absolutely perfect, you know, which works out well. So, staying true to the fans and yet throwing in some surprises, what can we expect from your characters in season three? Start. <laughs> Choose. Don't Come let him pick on you, Chandler. <laughs> Well, you can you can expect a lot of changes from Carl. You know, from the mm. end of season two to season three. Yeah. You know, uh, time has passed from season two to season three, mm -hmm. so he's kind of had to. You grow a beard this season, don't you? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow, yeah. I've been trying for years. How does that work? <laughs> it was tough. Um, <laughs> eat greens. Ugh. Eat greens. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but uh, it's it's really cool to to kind of play two different characters at the same time because if you when, when season three comes out tomorrow night you know you can definitely see the changes from season one to season three you know i'm a whole different character yeah. practically would you say it's darker definitely okay definitely darker is that you fun know. to play is that scary to play it's very it's it's a lot of fun because in uh in a way it's it, it in a way it's harder you know mm -hmm. but another way it's Funner. That's not a word, but it more, is now. It is more fun. <laughs> more yeah. fun. It's official. No, no, yeah. we're not going to encourage bad grammar. <laughs> it's, it's, not it's, more it's more fun. <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese doesn't count because that's not even organic. More fun, Chandler. It's okay. <laughs> Funner is a word, I declare. <laughs> <laughs> They, they don't have schools where Chan, where Carl lives in the yeah. oh, zombie true. apocalypse. Yeah. So yeah. this is true to character. So you know, he, he's a method actor. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Right, Norman, what's going on with you? Well, I mean, uh, you know, Daryl's no longer under the thumb of his big brother. So he's, you know, we start into this season, and you know, I think the fact that you know these people are people that he cares about and you know there's a certain responsibility that he has or he feels that he has to help them stay alive mm -hmm. uh, I think he sort of finds happiness in feeling that and uh, you know Rick and Daryl have become very tight I think Rick sort of taken the place of uh, the brother that Merle used to be in, in, a, in a better road on a better mm -hmm. road um, but yeah I mean the, there's certain all of us are a bit darker and you know this season the toes are being stepped on that weren't stepped on last season and um, yeah, I mean, it, it's it's a harsh world that we're in, and you know, you you trust people like this, or you trust them like this, you know, and we're sort of, you know, we're fighting like this, but a you know, back to back. Never heard anybody. Romance yeah. is awesome. We're, we're in no, love. It's an awful yeah. piece of slang. Uh, <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> you totally right. You <laughs> said happier earlier, and I find that interesting. That in this world, you know, yeah. happy is even used as an emotion. 
Well, you know, it's it's I don't know if happy is the right word actually, right. but it's um, it, you know Daryl's sort of becoming somebody for the first time. He's a lot like a little kid in his head. So, you know, he, he this world is a world that he can survive in. He, mm -hmm. He's a tracker. He's a hunter. Yeah. He's he's very badass and. Uh, he can get away with it, but I, f I feel like his emotional ties are the things that he didn't have before that he's starting to learn how to have now. So everything in his heart is larger. Right. Andrew, in the end of season two, you say it isn't a democracy anymore. That's, that's right. So how's that going to change everything for season three? Uh, well, uh, he gets elected and, uh, with that campaigning. We'll slogan. Um, well, that would mean it's a republic, Andrew. See, well, in this country, <laughs> campaign. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, it's, it was more about my way or the highway. Oh, sorry. It was more about my way or the highway at the end of season two because right. it was such a desperate situation. Mm -hmm. Just killed his best friend, mm -hmm. just confessed to his wife. Uh, the, 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 the farm had been engulfed by hordes of zombies. We lost four other principal characters of the family. We were on the run. So it was, and he was, it was more about enough already. Are you coming with me or not? Mm -hmm. And it was more of a slap to the, to, to the dissenters. Uh, you meet them, time has is, time is gone. Mm -hmm. You know, we've had a winter and, um, and we're almost like telepathic the way that we communicate. You know, we, we're so tight, we're so efficient at, at surviving. Um, but we're desperate, we're in the worst place you, you, we've ever been. Uh, and I made the fatal error of going into the writer's room and saying, what is Rick's breaking point? And we find out this season. Uh, it's and we find out right now. Uh, uh, no, you don't. Oh. <laughs> no, no, you don't. No, you don't. Uh, uh, totally. dot com. He didn't fall for it, Jesse. We, we, <laughs> we've actually got chips implanted into us that make us sort of shut down if we, uh, you know, spoil anything. Um, no, it's it's a brutal season. It's a brilliant season. We come out of the, you know, we come out running, and. Um, and it is, I mean, I, I'm constantly surprised at the scripts and, the le and how they keep um, upping the ante of, you know, excitement, thrills, horror, you know, and drama, you know, that this, when we get it right, this, sh th this show can really soar, you know, and it's, this season has been amazing for that. Now, we had Kirkman in here yesterday, Robert, to his friends. Uh, he didn't give us anything, but he did say that, you know, as a producer on the show and working with everyone, how do you feel as actors being there with the guy who basically created all your characters and put it th everything together. I'm sure you've worked with writers before, but I mean, for such a universe that Robert Kirkman has created, what's that feeling like being in the room with him? He's, incre he's incredibly great. Yeah. He's, he's, it's amazing. You have his consent. Um, he's also incredibly respectful, you know, and he, mm -hmm. he loves what, I mean, this is a whole new world for him to yeah. step into as well. And I think he's just as thrilled as we all are to kind of explore this film, TV, whatever you show, uh, mm -hmm. in his own way as well. And he's, he's also very hands-off, like AMC. I think yeah. the genius of AMC and why they keep creating mm -hmm. these yes. great shows is that they kind of let it happen, mm -hmm. you know. And, um, and Robert is very much like that. He's a very cool guy, and he, he doesn't sort of... He's not he, stuck to one idea no. either. He's very he seems open very to, comfortable. To, to, here's the comic, more. here's the TV. Well, they, and there can be differences. Yeah, but by definition of what they are, they, they exist as two different entities. Correct. One, one is beautiful because it's a comic book, a graphic novel, whatever you want to call it. Comic um, book, trust me. Yeah, Don't do book. it. Don't yeah, say yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Is that but bad grammar are, again? No, it's just weird because, you know, you grew up, when I grew up, it was comic book and it was, you know, wasn't cool, but it was your thing. And then graphic yeah. novel is... Little more. Yeah, we're trying to, to make yeah. it cool. It's like saying, I love animation. It's like, no, you love cartoons. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Um, how is it for you in production working with the creator of everything? It would be hard to do this without the creator involved. Mm -hmm. um, it's such a worldwide franchise now, I'm sure, as, as you know. I know. He's, it's on our passes to get a New York Comic Con. Walking yeah, Dead's on the passes. Course, as yeah. it should be, by yeah. the way. You know, I mean, the most I know Marvel and DC are pretty <laughs> The most successful comic book in how many years now? Oh, I know, it's ridiculous. I mean, 100, issue 100, sold mm -hmm. over 350,000 copies. And then they would use that to push other comics, like Chew. You know, as they should. Put on the back of Walking Dead, which now is going to become a series, you know? Oh, well. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's super cool. So, you know, he's... He he wants this to be the mm. best television yeah. adaptation of the comic mm. book, and uh, that's why we introduce fantastic characters who aren't in the comic book, like mm. Daryl Dixon. You know, so um, and, and we want to change it up so that that literally people who are comic book experts mm -hmm. 
who think they know where things are going right. are always taken aback a little bit. That's very smart. We couldn't be more excited for season three. Um, I'd say keep up the good work, but you can't seem to help it. So, Thank well you. done.